I'm Mark Kaiser with Kaiser Family Farms. We're here in Carroll County, Missouri, uh, about an hour east of Kansas City along the Missouri River. Uh, my mother, my father, my wife and I uh, farm a rotation of corn and soybeans. Under irrigation, we may stick with corn for two or three years in a row, uh, but we try to keep our operation about 50-50 on corn and soybeans. So far our year has been pretty good. We uh, planting season went fairly smooth. You know, it could have been uh, more timely rains, but that's one thing you got to work around. And so everything got in fairly early and uh, growing season's been good, but dry as of late. So our early soybeans are looking about R2, R3. So just starting to uh, flower, bloom up, up and down the, the plant. And then our latest ones are anywhere from uh, probably V5, uh, V6, somewhere in there. So stuff's still looking green, still looking good, but really could use some moisture in the next few days. We'd gotten to the point where our, our, average, our field averages were, were good, but how do you take it to that next level? Last year we were um, uh, picked to do the supplemental trial for the, I think for the inaugural year, and we had a um, very good success on, on, the, on the field we chose. So where we put uh, 100 pounds of AMS, we actually saw an 89 bushel average, and then anywhere from then at 50, uh, pounds of AMS made 84, then the check strips was at 80. So, you know, nine bushel difference between the check and the 100 pounds of AMS that was applied. At the end of the year, I was a little surprised by the, uh, I guess, the vast difference, the nine bushel, given the prices we were at, especially when I was analyzing it and overlaying the maps in like January, our ROIs looked uh, exceptional. A lot of people talk about sulfur in soybeans lately. And what we're looking at is not only the sulfur, but the nitrogen that's in it as well. In, in theory, AMS is going to, the, the nitrogen portion of it is going to help um, the nodulations underground, which will help your intake. So those nodulations is what kind of where the nutrients uh, are uptake, and then it's also the nitrogen fixation for the plant. So adding nitrogen to it, helping add early in, on, add those nodulations, we can increase then the, the intake and the health, overall healthiness of the plant. This, it seems like it's a natural fit, and now it's just a matter of trying to find you know, the timing and get it down, like how much is beneficial, where, you know, what's the timing application um, of it that's most beneficial. And so I'm real excited for you know, the next few years of this trial this year and, and going forward of what, what can we do, what are the capabilities of the soybean plant. Right now we're tracking pretty good. It's it's kind of where we want to be. Um, the, the height, the weed control, basically all the variables we can control, we're doing good at. And so, you know, I think everything is set up to, to have a good year in that field. And so now it's just a matter of, will Mother Nature help us? Will we get the rains? We, once we get that rain, we're going to see some real kick and probably some height differences. It's kind of what we saw last year when we got the rains, is it started to take off once you get moisture in the ground and the plant and the heat units. And then later in the season, the plant just kind of took off. And we saw a drastic height difference last year. I hope to see the same thing since we've had a good start and kind of the same, same process. But you know, we'll dig up some plants and, and we'll see exactly what, uh, what those nodules look like. So those nodules still don't mean you're going to get a better plant or a healthier plant. What they do is they set up the stage. It's kind of like the soil sets the stage for the plant growth. So then those nodules set the stage for taking up what you have in the soil and utilizing that. So then the height, you get the health, you get the size and everything else. Well, the bigger the plant, the more uh, more uh, space there is to put pods on and, and fill. And so we saw you know, increased pods up to you know, maybe even, you know, 20, 30 more pods on the, the treated sections last year than we did the, the non-treated. So for other people that uh, maybe are skeptical, the number one thing to need to know about this product, it's not something that we don't have available near us. This is something that's you know, held in your, your local elevator, local co-op, your local supplier. Put on a little on a few acres and, and just see if you, you know, especially if you can extrapolate the data and overlay the maps and, and get it out. You know, you can put on a field and you have good, you know, better than average yields. You can tribute it and put on a few more acres and then you can see it from year to year.